In this Getting Started video, we're providing a comprehensive guide on how to use the Nama C2 cold press juicer and blender. Begin by opening the box, then both inner boxes, and removing all the inner parts and components. Locate the printed materials inside, including the user manual, quick start guide, plus the juicing and blending recipe guides featuring delicious smoothies, juices, and more. Start by placing the strainer into the spinning brush, and then insert the auger into the strainer. Insert this set into the chamber. Locate the large and small cutouts in the chamber and insert the corresponding wings of the strainer into the chamber. Next, add the hopper. Align the vertical guide marks on the hopper with the unlock symbol on the chamber. Press the hopper down onto the chamber and rotate clockwise. The guide mark on the hopper should now be aligned with the lock symbol on the chamber. The spine on the hopper should also be in line with the spine on the chamber. To place the chamber set onto the base, lift the entire assembly and line up the handle with the control knob on the base. Ensure that the arrows on the chamber and the base are aligned for correct assembly. Sometimes the drive shaft can be misaligned with the bottom of the auger. To solve this, simply rotate the chamber set to either side until the drive shaft engages with the auger and set down until the arrows are aligned. Lastly, insert the power cord into the back of the base and then into the power socket. Note, the lid on the hopper can be removed but it must be installed before juicing. To make sure the juicer is assembled correctly, simply turn it on before adding any ingredients. Preparing produce. Today, we're going to be making unbeatable. Here's the recipe. Four kale leaves, one apple, one beet, one inch piece of ginger, and three carrots. When preparing your ingredients for juicing, cut all produce into pieces that will fit into the hopper. While the juicer is able to handle whole produce, we found that you can fit more produce into the hopper by cutting into smaller pieces. Additionally, make sure to remove any stickers or residue that might be on your produce. Loading the hopper. To begin loading the hopper, pull the release tab inside the handle to open the lid. For best results when juicing, we suggest adding softer, leafy ingredients at the bottom and harder ingredients on top. For example, place kale and spinach on the bottom, followed by soft ingredients such as lemon and pineapple. Then place harder produce like celery and cucumber. Lastly, put ingredients such as carrots, beets, and ginger on top. When filling up the hopper, do not load past the maximum fill line. Now you can close the lid until it locks into place. The juicer has a safety sensor which will prevent the motor from turning on until the lid is closed correctly. Before beginning to juice, make sure the juice and pulp containers are in place. Now that you're ready to juice, turn the control knob to the on position and press the start stop button. The LED light will display juice and the timer will begin to count. When juicing is complete, turn the knob back to the center O position. In the rare event that the juicer gets jammed or stuck, turn the knob to the reverse position and press and hold the start stop button. While juicing, make sure to open the juice spout whenever the chamber fills up with juice. Ingredients can be added through the hole in the hopper while juicing. When the last of the ingredients have been added, make sure to run the juicer for a minute or two to allow the maximum amount of juice to be extracted. To store extra juice, we recommend storing in an airtight container, such as a mason jar, and filling the juice to the top to avoid oxidation. Juice will last in the refrigerator for up to three days. We always encourage cleaning right after juicing. This makes cleaning easier and prevents unwanted buildup on the components. Holding the handle, pull the entire chamber set off the base and begin to disassemble in the sink. Turn the hopper counterclockwise to remove it from the chamber. The lid of the chamber can be removed by opening and pulling up. 
Under warm water, scrub each part well. The inside of the hopper is safe to clean. When cleaning the chamber, open the pulp outlet cover and clean the inside. The pulp outlet gasket can be easily removed and cleaned. Simply push it back into place once clean. There are other silicone parts on the juicer that can be removed and cleaned. For more information, please check out the cleaning video, which will be linked in the description. Always hand dry or allow the parts to completely air dry before reassembling. Blending. The first step when setting up your C2 blender is to ensure the control knob is set to the center O position. Next, ensure the power cord is correctly installed. Plug the cord into the back of the base and then into a socket. Next, verify that the dosing cap is secure on the blender lid. Place the lid onto the blender jug until the clips on the lid have snapped into place. Install the jug onto the base by aligning the four corners of the jug with the four corners of the base. The middle notch on the bottom of the jug should also be aligned with the arrow on the base. When installed correctly, the LED display will say blend. For this demonstration, we will be making a smoothie from the recipe book. This recipe contains the following ingredients. Half cup unsweetened almond milk. Half cup coconut water. One cup frozen pineapple one orange, one frozen banana, and a handful of spinach. When loading the blender jug with ingredients, it is best to layer them in a specific order. Here is a graphic to illustrate our recommended layering. Liquid on the bottom, followed by soft leafy greens. Then add nuts and seeds, soft ingredients such as yogurt and nut butters, fresh fruits and vegetables next. Lastly, top with frozen ingredients and powders such as protein and adaptogens. Powders can also be added through the dosing cap while blending. The blender has multiple preset programs including smoothie, ice crush, soup, mill, and cleaning, plus the option to operate manually. For today's recipe, we will use the manual mode. To turn the blender on, turn the control knob to the desired speed. We suggest starting at a low speed and working your way up. Press the start stop button to begin blending. Slowly increase the speed while blending if needed. To stop the blender, press the start stop button or turn the control knob back to the center O position. For an in-depth guide on the Blender programs, see the Blender program video linked below or on namawell.com. More information can also be found in the printed user manual. Cleaning the blender immediately after use is always suggested. The jug can be cleaned by adding 16 ounces of warm water and a small amount of dish soap. Place the jug onto the base and put the blender into clean mode. Press the start stop button and let the jug clean itself. The jug can also be cleaned in the sink using warm water and soap. When cleaning the jug, use caution to avoid any contact with the blades. They are sharp and may cause injury if touched. Do not add any components to the dishwasher. Additionally, do not soak the jug as it may create rust or damage the product. To clean the base, use a damp towel and gently wipe down. Once clean, dry with a towel and avoid contact with the blades. For more in-depth instruction, see the videos linked in the description below or visit namawell.com. If you have any questions or comments, please contact our customer care team. Contact information can be found in the description, in the user manual, and on namawell.com.